In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a Nintendo Switch launcher that can launch your Nintendo Switch and related games along with your third party computer games all for free. Now of course, it's not as easy as just downloading a Nintendo Switch application. Nintendo would copyright strike that right away. You're gonna have to do something a bit more creative to get this to work. First you'll have to go to this website, Play Night. And download Play Night. After that, just download Switch Night. Which is what will make it look exactly like the Nintendo Switch. Here it is. Just download. And there it is. Now that you have opened this, you might be confused. Not only can you not see any of your games or Switch games here, this looks nothing like the Nintendo Switch launcher I showed earlier in the video. I will now be teaching you how to make it look just like that. First you have to go over here. This is basically the settings option. When you press this, an option called library will be here. There is another option here which you can also do by Ctrl T called configure emulators. When you press it, you are given the option to configure your emulators. You can add any emulator but we will be focusing on Yuzu. You have to give it this installation folder as this is where Yuzu will be located normally on most computers. However, if you locate it somewhere else, you can look and you can tell it to go to a different folder by pressing the file icon next to it. Once you've added the emulator of Yuzu or Ryujinx, you can go to add game, emulated game. Now just like you did with Yuzu, Add the location of where your game is located. So go to Add Scanner, make sure you choose Yuzu, and then scan the folder where your ROMs are located. Once this has all been done, you'll be given the option on which game to add. Choose the games you would like to have in this application, or you can just choose every single game and have them all sorted out here. Now we have to make this look like the Nintendo Switch application, now that our games have been added. This is the easiest. Please just go to add-ons, go to browse, themes full screen. This is important that you pick full screen and not desktop. Now all you have to do is type switch. I have already installed it, but if you haven't, all you have to do is just install it. Then press save. Now you might wonder why nothing has changed. That's because it's now given the option to switch between desktop and the normal Nintendo Switch launcher. So now I will press F11. Now I will press F11 to launch into switch mode. This is the loading screen. As you can see, this has now launched switch mode. I will tell you right now that this application will not just let you play the Nintendo Switch games by itself. You will need to have downloaded the Yuzu emulator and the necessary ROMs of the games. If you have issue or trouble with, it, with setting that, that up, there are guides on YouTube that I will link in the description on how to set the Yuzu emulator. It will take you only around 13 minutes, maybe even as long as this tutorial is taken. Once that has been set up, all you will have to do is just as I was told early in the video, find where the game folder is, find where the Yuzu folder is, add the game, and then Mario Kart 8 or wherever game you play will launch without any issue. Just so you can see, Mario Kart 8 will work just fine. Please note that this launcher can be used even with the Xbox, DualShock, 
Nintendo Pro, Nintendo Joy-Cons, or even the Wii controller. Same with Yuzu. That's it for the tutorial. Now you know how to make a Nintendo Switch application that can launch not only your Nintendo Switch game, but the rest of your Nintendo games. Along with all your third party computer games. And now for the finishing touches. Go to Play Night, press F2, or just right click and press Rename. Now write Nintendo Switch. But now comes in the problem with the icon. It looks like the Legend of Zelda. So let's go to Properties. Let's go to Change Icon. Let's go to Browse. And then use a Nintendo Switch icon file. Get any one from Google. Whichever one you like. Make sure it's an icon file. Open. OK. Apply. And boom. There you have it. Now that you launch it, it's going to launch just like it did at the start of the video. The best part is if you're going to start and if you type Nintendo Switch, then it will work. So that's it for the video.